This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Well, uh, we need to start with introductions. Yeah. Introductions. I sure am excited about playing this Dungeons and Dragons game. I, Scott Kurtz. How about you, Mike? I'm Mike Krulik. Mike Krulik, aka Gabe. I'm also very excited to be playing the part of Jim Dark Magic. Oh, I should mention I'm playing the part of Benwin Bronzebottom, the dwarf fighter. Who are you again? I'm Bryn, Benwin Bronzebottom, a dwarf Bryn, fighter. Bryn, Bryn, oh, okay. and you are, I'm sorry, your name is? I'm Scott Kurt. Oh, hi, Scott. I make a I'm comic strip called PvP. And who's sitting across from me? Who is that? I can't see over there. Well, through the mists. <laughs> uh, my name is Will Wheaton. Hello, Will. Hello, Mike Krulik. Better known as <laughs> Penny Arcade. Yes. This is this interesting to be more confusing. People have got, like, a flow chart already. I am, you, know, you can see him looking down. Okay, okay. He knows him. Right. I am playing an Eladrin Avenger. Avenger is a new class from the Player's Handbook 2, and uh, his name is Erofel Erromane. Yeah. Oh, Wait a minute. <laughs> why does why does Wheaton get a new class? Why am I stuck a fighter? That's been around since the 70s. What's well, its tradition? What was your name? Uh, Erofel Erromane. So we'll call you Al. You fucker. No. Of, all, of all the time I spent yeah. building this character and like backstory and uh, uh, <laughs> like making sure that his stats made sense and not min maxing him and building him, what I spent the most time on was the name. Like, come up with a name that they're not going to be able to make fun of. Come on, here. Come up with a name make, that they can't come, pronounce. Come up with a name that they can't fuck with. No, no I'll be it. Al. No, no, no. Hey, no. Thank you. No, he'll be, he'll be L. L. Cool J. Uh, that <laughs> and that'll be... Is that uh, yeah. Al? All right. Yeah. We'll work with that. I think Jim's going to call you Al. Your name kind of sounds like... You can like, call me Al. <laughs> I want to bang Hermione. Because <laughs> she's getting hot. You can't say that. She's still... She's still underage, right? She's 10 years old. You're not allowed to acknowledge that she's attracted for I don't another, like, three so. months. Yeah. Oh. Mike, you never said that. <laughs> what? That's not no. He just like me. He uh, hey, wait, Jerry. Yeah, yes. who Jerry else is Holkins at this table? Arcade. Well, you need to introduce yourself as well. I'm glad you asked. I'm Jerry Holkins, aka Tycho Brahe, and I am playing Omen Drawn. Omen, which is short for something, uh, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. That's me. The donuts have arrived. Delicious. Do we um, want to introduce the donuts. The dungeon master. No, he's not important. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, you can introduce yourself. <laughs> and our dungeon master. Wait, are we ever going to hear the dungeon yeah. master on the podcast? <laughs> oh, no, only the entire thing. The whole podcast is like, what? No. <laughs> My name is Chris Perkins. I'm the dungeon master. I'll be playing all the soon to be dead things. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. see about that. No, you were here last time. That's, that's right. Um, let's, let's hope that's a prophecy. All right, so Acquisitions Incorporated is back, but we have a new hire. We have a new hire, and it's a part of a. Uh, a pronounced PR campaign. Hmm. Uh, you know, we're your acquisitions incorporated. This is all. <laughs> this is all to sort of clean things up after the winter spire incident. Yeah. There's a single page in the files that just says it was pretty bad, and and that's it. So we're trying. We're coming out. We got a new face. This is the new face of acquisitions incorporated. What do you bring to the? Uh, what can you bring to the company? Well, basically? hang on, hang on here for a second. Let's back up. Oh, I, I can. I can do this. Let's back up a okay. little bit. It's uh, raining in Fallcrest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I enjoyed that. It's a heavy rain, and it's been raining far too long. Uh, that's what the spring is like here, and a lone figure walks through the darkened streets uh, of Fallcrest for the first time, uh, navigating the maze-like alleyways to the front door of a respectable establishment that has a freshly painted unicorn sign mounted above the door. And it is an Eladrin. And he has been looking long and hard, using every ounce of his uh, skill to pass through the town without arousing too much suspicion, but tracking down his quarry. Right. Or without and arousing... Not, uh, so he's looking for a mine of some kind? Right. He's looking for a band of adventurers that oh. call themselves Acquisitions <laughs> Incorporated. Well, he's, a, he's a metallurgist, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. And he has only just found out that they are nestled in the basement of an inn called the Unfortunately, the silver unicorn. It's what we could afford, frankly, and it's temporary. Um, we like it. We've got a good theme song, though. <laughs> we do? Catch a commercial. So a worldwise-looking woman comes to the door, opens it, and looks at your figure there in the rainy night. Say. And her eyes grow wide. How wide? How, how wide are we Too talking? wide. Okay. Wide with alarm for a moment there, and then she realizes you're not some brigand come to rob her in the night. Well, she doesn't know that, actually. She doesn't know that. Okay. And she says, you must be with them. I am. 
<laughs> it's gonna be like that. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Is this an all the time thing? It might be. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's good. She says, "My name is Wissera Osterman. I run this establishment. They pay me." It's real. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last time when Come I was on like, in. let's roll play. He's like, nope, there's the keep. Go fight stuff. And now <laughs> Get out of the rain. Thank you, good lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, that's serious. Two sets of footsteps come down the rickety wooden stairs into the cellar uh, where you have affixed yourselves for the past several weeks, uh, regrouping after your latest escapade. I immediately draw my sword so no one realizes I fell asleep on my okay. watch. <laughs> the fact <laughs> that... <laughs> The fact that one of the figures seems to be accompanied by a uh, by lantern light, uh, you recognize the footfalls as those of Wissera, and uh, you don't recognize the footfalls of the other one. In fact, you can barely hear them. Hey, whose um, footfalls are those? They are mine. <laughs> oh. You expected something more um, looking around this cellar, um, but their personalities seem to fill the room just fine. <laughs> uh, 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 Have we met him before? No. no this no. is like the interview process. No, exactly. Exactly. Well, I'll, I, will, I will lead him over... I say, ah, yes, I'll, um, I'm cold. If you could just have a seat at our interview table that I've just conjured from thin air, uh, we can get started. Uh, and I think we're all very excited. And, uh, I mean, you know, as, as I suggested in our previous correspondence that we haven't had, uh, things are going to be awesome. Does he get a cut? Like, what's his percentage? He doesn't get any cut. Oh, good. Good to have you on board. Wow. <laughs> Well, an elf, and a high elf at that. Well, uh, high, no, no, we have to do a drug test. Nobody told me there'd be an elf. That's <laughs> but, twice as bad as you. Well, yeah, listen, what you have to understand is that he's all about, he has a higher purpose. We should have a don't ask, don't tell policy for elves. Like if, if you're an elf? If you're an elf, you don't have to say anything. We won't ask. Are you an elf? Is that a big deal? Or you know? <laughs> uh, no, no, but basically, essentially, he serves a higher purpose. And so, you know, common money, wealth, jewels, platinum. Uh, ancient artifacts. What would you know? Jewel Platinum, statue. says Wissera. <laughs> well, I've heard, I've, heard a, I've heard a story about it, and I think I would like to get some, frankly. Huh. Uh, she goes upstairs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go upstairs, honey. Fetch us some. But such a, he, doesn't, he doesn't care about that. This, this is what I understand about Avengers. They're not about the, those sorts of things. The sorts of things that we like. I think Jim goes back upstairs with Wessera. <laughs> That's perfectly acceptable. Can we roll to see if Wessera, I make out with Wessera? Can we roll to see if Wessera is <laughs> like, a chubby woman? Is. <laughs> Does she have nice hips? Uh, she is uh, a, a, a stocky, stalwart woman. Ooh, Durable. That. Yeah. She she likes that. A stout woman. Jim likes that. She, yeah. has, she has 1d20 hips. <laughs> so um, that's up to you to She is a force of nature. But now, we do we know he was coming, or is this he has sought us out? via, like, our reputation precedes us? You've probably posted some notes around oh, okay, saying, okay. you know... Now hiring. Need, yeah. need, need fourth member. <laughs> right, looking for a drummer, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm your guy. I mean, <laughs> I am your guy. Yeah, yeah. No, perfect. I mean, that's that's basically, that's basically uh, what we need to... Uh... Jim Wissero will pour you a mug full of hog spit, uh, which is a brand of ale. That's oh. awesome. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure he'll drink it, but he has it. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to cut a figure, you know. Uh, well, yeah. Basically, seated. Uh, Jim is not here. Uh, the dwarf is here for moral support. Well, yeah. More or less. Well, you didn't say... I mean, you didn't say it's going to be an elf. I just... <laughs> it didn't... I didn't know this is all due to me. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like, so here, here's a bit of information you guys know that uh, your friendly Avenger does not yet, and that is that you have an opportunity. Oh, so also, oh. we have a... We have uh, a your a... reputation does, in fact, precede you, despite your present circumstances, <laughs> and... Uh, you have an appointment with a Captain Nathan Faringray in the morning. He works for the Fallcrest Guard, and he needs some help. This sounds good. All right. This sounds good. Do I know what kind of help? Was he, was he not? Was he it not wasn't particular? clear, but there, there are acquisitions involved. Okay. Well, that's our that's our line. That's right in our wheelhouse. So, uh, 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 oh man, <laughs> what what can you what can you bring to Acquisitions Incorporated? I bring the might and grace of Melora with me from the Feywild. I bring from the what? The Fey Wild. Is that a what is that? It's where the Fey live. It's where the yeah. It's oh, where the Fey are from. Where we Fey come from. Oh yeah, it's okay. Magical. Okay, well that's iron. That's human. Humans can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Up in the forest. Well, and they, welcome oh, aboard. That you. sounds good. Magic and shit. All right. That's awesome. I'm All from right. the ground. <laughs> Jim comes back downstairs. Wait, he? We have another magic guy. You do magic. Yes. I channel the might of my god, Melora. Do you do spells? 
and trick. That is sort of the divine no. kind of power. Ghost, do you do you know ghost sound? <laughs> you can't do ghost sound, right? I can't. All right. <laughs> you pull out a coin. The coin goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and I, and Can you I, do that? And I tell Dwarf, "Listen, elves aren't so bad. You know, I messed around with one in college. Oh, I experimented. Two, two elves. Two elves. And it was cool." That, fair enough. I mean, do we have, do we have a, a filthy bunk that he can he can? You have a on? clean cot. Yeah. Incidentally, not that it matters, but uh, we Eladrin are slightly higher than elves. Higher? Yes. Elves are, are like little brothers. Yeah. To us, so it's a bit of an insult to call the Eladrin an elf. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just saying. Understood. <laughs> Understood. Eladrin is definitely uh, it's a cut above. Awesome. It's a, Welcome, well, elf. It's like a, it's a luxury. Welcome. It's like a luxury elf. Al the elf. Good to have you on board. It's Alf. Alf. It's <laughs> called Alf. Yes, so we're uh, ready to go. No, you know, that's a term of endearment. It doesn't refer to a rodent. Still, there's something about these three that draws you to them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quite place it. <laughs> will, welcome to my I, role last podcast. I, 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 will, I will clutch my holy symbol, and I will say a silent prayer to Melora <laughs> for um, patience. Her, her reins guided you here. That's Jim is all willing you know. to take you under his wing. Excellent. Teach you a few tricks. Teach you a few tricks. You're, you're Jim's well. protege. By the way, he's about 90 years younger than you. Oh. <laughs> You'll be all right, kid. Jim's going to look out for you. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. <laughs> all right. In yeah, the morning, you are happy. awakened by the sound of a large wooden spoon hitting the side of a uh, soup tureen upstairs. Is it, is it, that means grub's on it. Is yeah. it in one of the first is upstairs? It, that's <laughs> that's what Sarah's signal for you to get up. Can I roll wisdom? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I put my shit in and we uh, head north. I, All I, right. I wish I mean up. Uh, she has four bowls of stew laid out on the bar. This is what I want in a role-playing experience. Three, three bowls. My my bowl of stew is already in my stomach. <laughs> yeah. The bowl is gone. I Seems is before. tofu, right? And uh, she has uh, filled your wineskins. Yes. Oh, I didn't know there uh, wine skins. She gives you two, one that has actually drinking water in it, one that has hot water in it so that you can put it somewhere where you need to stay warm. Great. No. no. And then after you feast, you head out. Or, or for herbal teas. Yeah. What do you mean, like my balls? Wherever you like, you she says. That. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Okay. And uh, when you head out into the muddy streets of Fallcrest and out of town, you come to a place called the Loveless Fields. It used to be this sprawling uh, tract of farmland that hasn't been tended to recently, and the local militia are using it as a training area. And you see these half-competent young militia trainees stomping around through the mud, bashing each other uh, with uh, wooden it's, it's swords. A, it's very SCA, the whole scene. They're using boffers. Yeah. And occasionally, uh, one of them will lose a boot in the muck, and the others will laugh at him and push him down, and stuff like that. And looking upon them with some, you, me- you with some measure of approval slash disapproval is a armored warrior on the back of a horse, who is basically uh, out on the road, his squire next to him. Uh, on a fence nearby uh, is a dwarf smoking a pipe. Jim is going to go sign some autographs for the uh, the kids. Yeah. You guys. I'm heading over to the militia guy. These Clearly, these guys could use some pointers from a real fighter. Jim brought some headshots, so he's going to... Yeah, some glossies? Yeah. Okay. This, this, is, this is more of a public appearance for Jim. Yeah. All right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tend to the, the business side of this equation. Okay. And, uh, and I will... I so will you wade out into the muck? I wade out into the muck your, with the... Large, yes. I head to the dwarf. Okay. Do, do we recognize these people? Are we familiar with them from our previous time spent in the town, or is this, like, new people? Fallcrest is big enough that you don't necessarily know everybody in town, but somebody like a Captain Nathan Faring Ray you've heard of, and but he's, he's the guy on the horse. Who the dwarf is. Uh, you haven't met the okay. none of you have met the dwarf before. You see that the dwarf is wearing a tricorn hat, kind of a ratty brown thing. Uh, the rain is still coming down, and it's just kind of pouring off the corners of his hat. I thought and all dwarfs knew each other. Is that not true? He's not no. local. Oh, all right, okay. that's racist. <laughs> when you go over to the dwarf, he introduces himself as Sork Orvash. Sork Orvash. He's a prospector. Oh, he's a prospector. And he says, you must be from Acquisitions. You should talk to Faring Ray. He has everything you need to know. Oh. We'll meet again. Rush off. Yeah, that's cold. Wow. That's cold. This NPC has no quest for me currently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. Omen, when you go up to the captain, uh, you see that he is just looking out over the loveless fields at the trainees. Yeah, at, at, the, at the, the raw recruits. Yeah, but he has certainly taken notice of your approach. And uh, I continue a- approachingly. Okay. He comes down off his horse. And his high horse? And hands the reins to his squire. <laughs> All right. 
And uh, uh, he, I'll, I'll reach he out and pulls the gauntlet him. off his hand and extends yeah, his hand in friendship. Ex- extends his gnarled claw. And no, I, actually, I, I'm taken aback by that. But Nathan Faringray is uh, sort of a middle-aged man, but he's actually quite uh, dashing and was probably, like you in his uh, youth, more inclined to... Uh, go uh, off and do foolhardy quests. Acquiring and things? Yes. Uh-huh. I see. So he's cleaned up is essentially what you're yes. saying. All right. Well, I, I recognize this, and he and he recognizes that I recognize that, and we, we share a moment. Uh, okay. And I say, well, what can we do for you? He says, are you aware of a tower called Golden Hawk? Should I roll to see if I'm aware of that? You can make a history check if you want. I'm next to him, man. Make yeah, a history check Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, oh. I, I look over him as a shrug. Yeah, no. I, uh, I rolled a one. So, okay. I, uh, uh, what's a tower? <laughs> History wise, I've heard about towers, yes. History wise, we're looking at a 20, so I feel good about that. Uh, Jim would like to use press digitation to make some doves. And everyone claps. All right. Uh, you're momentarily distracted by these doves. <laughs> these white doves flying up over the rainy you fields. You don't know how many times I have seen these doves. <laughs> Yeah, well, the simple trick seems to amuse to no end the uh, wow. the common militia. He says, uh, Faring Ray says. So what do I know about, about that? What's a, what does a 20 get me in, in a history context? Uh, you go. you have heard of uh, this tower. The skill is, is five. Nice. It is, just it is a ruin that lies kind of on the edge of civilized lands, on the basically on the border of uh, disputed uh, frontier territory called the Borderlands. Fair enough. Uh, that's all you know. Okay. That it's, but I, know, I know where it that, is. Yes. And... Yes, you do. Okay, fair enough. It is not so far away that you probably haven't, at some point in your career, passed by it or yeah, whatnot. Oh, hey, that's, hey that's, that's, that's that tower I heard about. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a keep anywhere near that tower? He says, no, nothing of the sort. It is a watchtower, a strong point to defend against the goblin hordes. So there's no keep on the Borderlands? He says, ah. I'm going to bite your throat out. Later. Not right now. He says, you have traveled far. <laughs> I have. There is such a structure. This is a much smaller defense point and more critical to Fallcrest. See, it's more critical, like I was saying. Yeah, right. My friend here, Sorik Orvash, he was a member of a group sent by the local baron to inspect the tower and see if it can be rebuilt and refurbished. The goblins have become an increasing annoyance, and Golden Hawk has, over the aeons, stood as a symbol of their failure to conquer this land. He makes fireworks. We hear, I hear another smattering of applause. Yes. I say, I say what's our role uh, in this? In our attempts to scope out the structure and explore it more thoroughly and uh, begin work on its reconstruction, the prospectors that we sent stumbled upon some unkind folks, brigands with their faces painted like skulls, accompanied by the walking dead. I really hate the walking dead. I'm not a big fan myself. Uh, I, do you know, like... Sorek is the only survivor. Number-wise, how many walking dead? Are we, like, do you have a, did you have an estimate? There were more than a dozen. Okay. All right, we'll take it. We're ready to go. We're ready to go he at says, a moment's notice. Thank you. Sorek will guide you there. All right, we'll go with him. He wants to go back? I know where it is. We can just go. He says... It's up to him. Faring Ray says back. <laughs> he is reluctant to return, but agrees that he might be of some help, and he has more information about the tower's history than I do. Well, certainly we appreciate the help. Uh, he calls out Sorek's name. The dwarf uh, sticks his pipe out uh, in the rain, and it just sort of begins to smoke and smolder, and then he tips the crap out from inside of it, puts it away, comes walking over, tips his tricorn hat... Uh, and at least a gallon of water pours says, out. <laughs> we ready to go? Jim makes a rock disappear. And then shrugs. Where's the rock? <laughs> All right. I, 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 I'm sure I have, at this point, I've developed some kind of special Jim whistle mm-hmm. that, yes. that, that lets him know <laughs> that it's, it's, time to, <laughs> it's time to work. It's, it's time to build on the legacy, the dark magic legacy. Faring Ray says... I would tend to this matter myself, but I have my work here cut out for me. Yes, you do. Yeah. No, they're, 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 no, they're doing good. They're doing good. It seems hmm. like they're doing good. Hmm. They need to tie their boots tighter, I think, but past that, I think they're fine. All right. Well, dwarves? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Let's go. Jim uh, right. waves farewell. Have a magical day. <laughs> okay. Uh, Benwin, make an insight check. Now, okay. 
Paul, 22. Bam. Kill Critical it. insight. Nicely done. <laughs> you're like, you're, light fucking pours out of your face. <laughs> ah! Uh, there is something about Sorek that strikes you as a little odd. I kill him. He's not a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I murder him. It's, it's really an was, elf on his knees with fake shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he dwarf. Is, he is... <laughs> He is clearly he is clearly a dwarven, but it's dwarven. like he was raised by like humans or wolves or caterpillars or something. Okay. You just there's there's he's something feral. there's there's characteristics to him that seem undwarf like. Well, yeah, I approached him to be kind of a look at these humans. Dwarves would do it right, and I got to brush <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it didn't happen. Well, maybe we can maybe we can penetrate that. But it's it's more than that. There's he is actually sort of avoiding eye contact with you. Not so much with the others, but with you. All right, well, um... Yeah, I still don't know why he wants to go back. Especially when we can show it up. I don't know. Shoot. I already hate him. If I were to try Team's to... has got a good feeling about him. If I you were to try what? to start a, a spark a conversation with him and maybe try to glean some insight, what what kind of a check would that be? Would that be, uh... An not sloth, check. would it be, uh... Insight, yeah. I mean, uh, diplomacy. Diplomacy, what's my zero bonus? <laughs> so, um, so you guys start to head off. You leave Captain Faring Ray with his it, recruits. Exactly. And there's and, a conversation uh, trying to yeah, bubble up. You're on the, the rainy road heading out to the wilderness. So I'm going to strike up a conversation, try to learn more about him, and I'm going to say, so, 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 where, fuck why. so where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Dost thou come here often? <laughs> yeah, I, I rolled a pathetic eight on that. Uh, uh, you know what's really diplomacy. cool? Diplomacy. Rocks. <laughs> he looks at you um, and uh, says, Rivercrest, where are you from? Where am I from? I have no idea. Probably from Winterhaven. Okay. Probably from the hills north of Winterhaven. All right. I should have researched that ahead of time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I know where I'm from. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah. But New Hampshire? <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what, and he said he was from where? I'm sorry. Rivercrest. Rivercrest. Am I, am I familiar with Rivercrest? Uh, yeah, it's like a fishing village, mm-hmm. um, some distance away. It is along a river, um, probably about five days' travel from here. I used to date a girl in Rivercrest. What do you know about it? She was a model, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. You probably didn't know her. She's really pretty. She looked good. She looked really good, yeah. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> These stories are always um, true. And then, uh, God, I'm drawing a blank now because the pressure's on. Like, it's exactly. focusing on me, and it's like, where the fuck are we from? River, Crest, Haven, Bill, what is this? Shire? Where is this? This is Winter Crest. No, we're not in Winter Crest. We're you're leaving, you're Fall. leaving Fall Crest? Fall, Fall Crest. Crest. Jesus H, I should write this it's down. It's the rainfall. That's how I was yeah. able to remember. All right, Fall Crest. Fall Crest. And he's from River Crest. Crest? Yes. Jesus, what's with the Crest? You couldn't come up with a new Our Fall Crest and Rivercrest River rivals. I All think right. they're like football rivals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so what uh, what brings you to Fall Crest? He says, "I'm working for the Baron to help rebuild Golden Hawk." Jesus Christ, Golden Hawk! <laughs> That's Holy the tower we're going to. <laughs> Listen, if, 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 if I can follow it. <laughs> so you're a you're an engineer. You're a mason. Something like that. Listen, Jim comes in. Leave the guy alone. All right. I'm sorry about him. He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. You know how they are. <laughs> well, you know him. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> You're a dwarf. You've known him for years. I'm sorry. Just quit giving the guy the third degree. He says. Can he use diplomacy to sort of try to good, good human, bad dwarf with, sure. uh, with the guy? Sure. You could. You if you want. Good. What's two? <laughs> oh, awesome. 18. Mm. 20. Okay. He seems to warm up to you. Uh, he. <laughs> He, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Two he, pats him on the shoulder. In the course of conversation, you learn from him that... Do you like magic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Parks come out of his hands. He says, <laughs> I, I have knowledge of magic. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I know something about magic myself. And then a bird comes out of my hand. Whoa. Hold on, I have to go get that bird back. It's he only, says, It's the only one I've got. You have done great things to raise my spirits. I am somewhat down over the deaths of my friends. Oh, that my sucks. God. You want to see I another trick? I started a conversation. Yeah, like, I know. I'm, dice, I'm like, ask him where he's from. He's like, Rivercrest. And, and then Mike's like, maybe I should talk to him. He's like, I come from a land of blah, blah, blah. I come from a land yeah, down the under. The whole fucking shit spills out. One roll. Mm. Mm. Jim would like to know if you like fireworks. Oh, yes. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See? I just shake my head. You, you He's a good guy. <laughs> Like, the six or seven hours a day are given over to these pyrotechnic displays. <laughs> yes. I'm done. I run forward. Okay, you blaze the trail. Uh, after the the day passes, um, Sorik Orvash is not a brilliant conversation list by any means, but he does engage you. He tries to engage with whatever conversation you wish. Uh, night settles, you move on the next day. Night settles again, you move on the next day. And then on the rainy hill, uh, underneath some heavy storm clouds, you see a ruined tower that looks like it had the top half of it sheared off, uh, leaving behind a crown of jagged stone. And about a hundred feet out from the tower in all directions, you see tower wreckage lodged in the ground. Like the entire thing was blown outward. Now, was it called Golden Hawk just sort of as an honorary name, or did it have a hawk crest or something on it? Like, did it have a like the stonework or something like that? I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> the defender of the tower for a long time in the distant past was an elven woman named Valatra, and her <clears throat> emblem was a golden hawk on a field of purple and black. She was a, a commander of storm magic. What happened to her? And she was the scourge of goblin kind. Yeah, I'll bet. I think what happened to her is etched in the rubble of this hill. <clears throat> Oh, she was here for this? She caused it. Yeah. A little explodey. Apparently, according to legend anyway, the tower was laid under siege by goblins and giants. And as a last recourse to slay them all, she used the tower as the final weapon and sent stone shrapnel through the armies, laying them low. It is unknown whether she survived. Does it look like someone survives? Like, like the place is, is complete. Is it... This place has been desolate and ruined for over a hundred years. So it, it, there's, not really, there's no opportunity for CSI-type... Shit! At this point, <laughs> probably not. The stones that you we are the, the the sort of <laughs> ring of the the bits of tower wreckage that you see d- at the base of the hill are weather worn and overgrown. At this like point, a giant. Yes, yeah, sorry. Question: crazy uh, You can see to the uh, west of the tower are some tents, and he says, "That's where we made camp." He sort of points and then furrows his brow and says, "That's odd." What's odd? There's a fire. Awesome. Battle standard in one hand, or axe in my other. I'm he says, ready. I don't think I want to go any closer. And Can he, I? Uh, he I, sort of pulls his tricorn hat down over his eyes a bit. My blade is thirsty for blood. I say, well, there's a tree back there. I, I'm just curious. Oh, is there like a. Because I haven't played fourth edition before. Mm-hmm. Is there a sense motive sort of. Uh, it's called insight thing? skill. Insight oh, collects all, all right. those. Okay. Um, I would just like to see if I can get something about him is. Uh, bothering me. Mm-hmm. Sure. So I just want to see if I can do anything with that. And I get a, I get an eleven. Okay. Uh, he is a dwarf. He, he, he smells a... like a dwarf. <laughs> hey. All of those things are true, and uh, you are bothered by it, but you can't put your finger on it. It, it may not even be genuine. These, con- this, these concerns you have. Jim just slaps him on the shoulder. Come on, let's go. It's just a fire. He says, but the Walking Dead. I saw them when they were on tour. They're all right. I am, can I? I am not, how do you say, combat worthy. Jim will take care of you. Don't worry about it. I am. Let's do this. Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, boss, that, boss, boss, boss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my my fear is that if he stays behind, he's just going to be, it's going to be worse for him. He says, I am a very fast runner. Well, that's to your credit. I, I, I guess, I, I guess that's in evidence. Um, yeah. So we're coming up from this direction? <clears throat> uh, you're actually, yes, you are. That is correct. But you can you can come up from any direction you want. You can, like, you're far enough out. And the fire, the obviously, is right yes. here. Yes, correct. You see that the tower is more blasted on one side than it is on the other to the point where there's not so much a doorway into it, but just a gaping hole. So there's no way to get cover from around this and maybe... Absolutely you can. The tower walls climb to a height of about 30 feet still. Oh, great. All right. So we can... Um, we and then the top is just this sort of jagged, cut-off mess. And, of course, the shrubs and things on the hillside you can hide behind as well. Okay, so we approach... If the tents are to the west, we approach from the east, right? Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to come around, see Make maybe... Make a... Uh, actually, as you approach the tower, do me a favor. Those oh. of you who come within, like, I don't know, four squares of the tower, make a perception check for me. I should be closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah come, come up with us. He's the, and Jim is the artillery. Yes. 20. Eleven. Uh, Twenty-seven. Wow. Wow. That will fucking do. Okay. 
Uh, you can see not much activity around the tower, but inside you hear voices. A couple voices, low, talking to each other. Do I recognize the language? Common. Okay. So common is, is performing inside the tower. Well, I mean, honestly... Are we able to determine is. the number of voices? Like two. Two voices are two voices are talking inside the yeah. tower, and the tower is blasted out here. Yeah, there's a hole about the size of a door in the base of the tower there. Uh, I mean, it's imperative uh, when, that we listen. Yeah, and yeah. as you stalk up to there, I'd like you all to make stealth checks. You oh, mean, even Jim? Shit. Any, uh, Jim, who's Jim's back, is... No! Okay. He doesn't have to. This is the worst. This is uh, going to be the worst yeah. check. I got a 13. Yeah, so I apparently stepped in a bucket and... <laughs> oh, no, Will. And those, you know those bells that you were determined to put on my boots? <laughs> so it turns out they're jingling because I rolled a 1. So it's very festive is what you're saying. Yes. It's I walked up. I walked up and decided to sing another Adrian <clears throat> song. <laughs> All right. Uh, those voices stop talking, and one of them says, Do you hear that? No. No, I, I don't hear it. <laughs> 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 uh, but they, they seem to... You hear them gathering their... Getting their shit together.